we have kind of a disaster here. After traveling around the world full time and COVID-19 bringing us back to the States sooner than expected, we wanted to have one last big adventure before starting work again. The Great Divide is the world's longest off-pavement biking route, running from Banff, Canada, all the way down to the border of New Mexico and Mexico. It's a total of around 2,800 miles with over 200,000 feet of elevation gain. Step one. Preparations and gear. We had an insane, frantic week searching for and purchasing our bikes and gear, as well as planning our route and completing only two small practice rides, making that a total of three bike rides in the past year and a half. That left us with about two and a half weeks to tackle our thousand mile goal of the Great Divide Trail. Hey everyone, so we're getting ready to go tomorrow on our bike packing trip and we have kind of a disaster here. All of our gear, all of our food. We've been trying to separate it into piles uh, because we have two pickup points and then when we start with the food because you know it's a thousand miles, you can't carry three weeks of food with you or at least you wouldn't want to carry three weeks of food with you. So we're starting with like basically a third of the food and then splitting it between you know one stop in Butte and then another stop somewhere else. In the last year, the longest bike ride that we've done was 20 miles. And we're supposed to be doing three times as much, pretty much each day. With and also gaining a ton of elevation and carrying tons of weight. This is honestly, it's a lot to take on. It's not unusual for Liz and I to go and take on something being not as prepared as we should be. We've done this so many different times. Step two, getting to our starting point. How were we supposed to get to our starting point in Whitefish, Montana with all of our gear? One-way rental car availability was nearly impossible to find, but we managed to find one small car and buy a cheap throwaway bike rack to haul our bikes and gear up there. We would have rather started in Banff, but due to current travel restrictions, we could only go as far north as Whitefish. We just dropped out Bacchus number one and two, which are staying here in Lima, 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 I don't know, Montana. We're really excited that we actually were able to find a place to drop it off because yeah. we couldn't find much information online. So the lady was super sweet at this hotel, Mountain View Hotel and RV Park, and they're used to this. She said that they've only had two CT hikers come through and usually they have 200 by this time. So we're gonna be by ourselves, I think. Step three, packing up the bike and heading out. We packed our bikes up for the first time on the first morning of our trip. Not something that we would recommend. We realized quickly that we had too much weight. It's honestly, it's so heavy. I, I can't lift my bike. It's like too heavy to, to like lift it off the ground for me. So it must be really heavy. So we are about to start the Continental Divide Trail biking route. We're a little nervous but excited. Our goal today is to get somewhere around Swan Lake, which is about 60 miles away. Nervous and weighed down, we set off on this crazy endeavor. All right, so, so far, doesn't seem too bad. I can tell though that when we go up those hills, like you definitely feel the weight a lot more. It's not as bad as I thought though. So far so good. Big downhill. So okay, so Liz and I both have our bear spray mounted right here. Oh, it's a little hard to control this one-handed. Uh, <laughs> And honestly, this is going to be really hard. We'll probably have to stop, like if we're not going too fast, like this pace, like break, pull this out. I'm going to have to stop and put it back. We pop the seal off and spray. <laughs> so, I mean, really, I'll need two hands for this, so we'll need to stop. First 10 miles down, one sixth of the way for today. 
and one tenth of the percent for the full thing. <laughs> Just entered Columbia Falls. Hi, horsey friends. So we finally started more of a dirt road. You know, after 19, 18 and a half miles of biking, we're now on a dirt road, which is nice. Hopefully it will be a lot less busy. But it has been really nice, really beautiful. There's been just animals, deers, horses, you know, whatever. Humans saying hi. Little kids. <laughs> yeah, little kids saying hi. Um, really beautiful so far. You know, almost a third of the way done with the day right now and feels pretty good. about 26 miles in day one and my butt bones oh my goodness <laughs> they're sore lunch of champs cheese tortilla <laughs> Without heating it up. We just stopped for lunch. We're finishing off with some dessert, Nutella, tortilla. We stopped a little over halfway through our goal for today, miles wise. What is it, like 30 something? I can't see right now. Maybe 32 miles or so. And it's a nice little, It's we are on the side of a road. <laughs> we kept trying to find like a better like lunch spot, but this was all that we could find. But so far, I feel like we're both feeling pretty good. Like I anticipated it being much worse after 30 plus miles the longest bike ride we have done in the past like year i think has been 20 miles so we beat that <laughs> are we splitting that mm -hmm. cheers Oh, we're about 44 miles in and I think we've both kind of hit a wall. It's also crazy hot right now. Oh, it's like, what time is that? Three. Three, yeah, it's crazy hot. So we've got down below me a little stream of water that I'm gonna to use to uh, refill using our handy grail filter. Nice and cold. It's nice. Oh, good. We're now officially getting eaten by mosquitoes. Yep. So putting on the outdoor lovers version of Cologne. Ah, oh. They're everywhere. We got to keep moving. Yeah. I need that now. You, you're going to kill yourself with that stuff. You know what? They won't stop bugging me. Oh, this is such a bad hill. And it has to come at the end of the day when all the mosquitoes are trying to kill us. A bear right there that just crossed the street. Yeah, there's a bear. Oh my goodness, we just saw our first bear. It was from a distance. I think it was just a little black bear. I just realized I've gone without my bear spray. Maybe you should bring that. I'm bummed I didn't turn my GoPro on in time. It's just a cute little black bear friend crossing the road in front of us. Hopefully we'll see more though. Our earlier super optimistic mood about how this is going to go has definitely been um, smashed a little. <laughs> 
on this four and a half mile non-stop hill. This hill is awful, seriously. Yeah. I don't think camera angles can do this justice, but this is non-stop steep hill. And with pack weight, it's just a lot. So finally, after mile 53, we finally got our nice break from that relentless miles and miles of uphill. And now we're going downhill. And it is so nice to just like sit here and coast with the breeze. Oh, such a relief after all that time going up. Oh boy, there's a bear. That is a bear. That's stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Stop, stop right there. Was it? Yeah. It was a grizzly. We just saw a grizzly bear cross the road, and this is our second bear now. <laughs> and should we keep going? <laughs> was it a grizzly? It looked kind of darkly no, colored. It had a bump. It had a hump. I didn't see the bump. I saw the hump. It had the grizzly hump. It looked. I was worried at first because it looked like it was running towards us. Wait, he's right there. I think he's right there still. No, the question is, should we go? I think we could just go and just be cautious. Yeah. I feel like I'm seeing a bunch of trees that might be bears, so. He ran away though, I think he was afraid. All right, we finally made it to a place to camp after having some struggles finding a, both a water source and a good place to camp. We found like just this opening of a wonderful place that has even like a fire ring and a place like a stump where you can sit on and the water is right across the way and we're secluded. So we are exhausted. We ended up going oh. 65 and a half miles today, which was more than we had anticipated and we gained about 3,100 feet of elevation gain. Tomorrow, elevation gain is going to be much worse if we do the full thing. Yeah, <laughs> we might have to split that up in multiple days. Yeah. Anyways, our, this has been a really good start, though. Like, we saw two bears, one grizzly, one black bear on our first day. I just think this is going to be a really awesome adventure. I'm exhausted though, and I want yeah. to go eat some packaged food. Because <laughs> I also think every time I eat something, I think that's just, you know, 10 less ounces of stuff that we have to carry. Anyways, we really wish we would have trained. Our advice, if anyone's thinking of doing this, actually train. Don't just do a couple of little rides the week after you buy a bike. All right, well, we're going to set up camp, filter some more water, and we'll catch you up right before we go to bed, probably. And. To the tent setup montage. So we finished setting up our tent. It's the uh, Big Agnes Fly Creek, which is a very common tent used by like backpackers and like you know lightweight minimalist backpackers and bike packers because it's so small. Like I don't know if you can see from here, but really you can only fit me and Liz in it barely and that's it like we can't fit any gear in there but yeah. it's yeah. two pounds though yeah so Which, lightweight yeah when we go in to bed we'll probably show you a little bit how kind of cozy it is yeah but so we are in our tent and we are very tight fit I don't know if the camera can do this justice but I'll, I'll turn it around and show you just how small so, that's our headspace yeah, it narrows in down below this tent. It will just fit our feet. Yeah, the light helps actually. It does it? Okay. Yeah, super small. Yeah. Good night. See you in the morning. We legit just heard the biggest thunderstorm, wow. thundercloud ever. <laughs> this is awful. And I don't, water's getting in here somehow because some parts of my sleeping bag are wet. Really hope we don't have too many more days like this because 
I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Oh, I'm going downhill. I'm going down. <laughs> break, break, break. It's recording. Facing you. Oh. <laughs> oh, these mosquitoes. Ah! <laughs>